Hello everyone, welcome to the new episode of Touch Design New Tutorials. In this video, we are going to create an audio visualizer in Touch Designer. Let's bring an audio file in from Chop. For now, we use the default music. Bring a mask from Chop. And change the combined channel to add. So we have just one channel. Bring an audio spectrum from Chop. And here I add a resample. In resample, go to common, turn off time slice, and in method, change it to new rate, new interval. Now I add a rename, and I change the channel name to TY. Now bring a line from SOP. Add a null from SOP. Here, in number of points, I change it to 250. Now from CHOP, bring a SOP to. If you right click on the output of the null and go to CHOP, then you can bring the sub2 that is already connected. After sub2, I add a select because we only need two of these channels. So here in channel names, I choose TX and TY. And in the re rename from, I choose TY and I change it to TZ Now I add a merge from chop and I connect the first patch to the second one We add a null from chop Now I bring a sphere from top I add a transform And from comp I bring a geometry In transform, reduce the uniform scale I put it on 0.01 and in geometry go to instance and turn on instancing drop the last null in translate up and in translate x choose tx in translate y ty and in translate z tz now bring the camera from com and a render from top I add a null from top after my render and I turn on the display so we see the result now from mat bring a constant and drop it on geo and choose palm material or we can use a fong from material but as you can see when you use the fong it becomes dark because for phone we need light, so I bring a light from comp. Now let's go back to the line. Here we have point A, point B. I change the point A to minus one. I change it again to minus 2 and point B on 2 so it becomes longer
but one thing that I forgot to do is that I should have connected the sub to, to the second input of the sampling. Now I connect it and you see we get all the movement from the channel because the resolution is coming from the number of points that we have in the line. So I use the constant again instead of the phone. Now we can work on the visualization of what we have. So I bring a feedback from top after the render. And I add a composite. Drag and drop the composite on top of the feedback. I change the composite to add. As you see here, it's in target top. After the feedback, I add a level. I reduce the opacity in post. Now we have a little bit of feedback. And before the null, I add the RGB key to get a black background. Now in geometry, we can bring down the shape. So I change the translate Y to minus one. I reset the feedback. And here I also lower down the opacity of the level because we don't want to have too much feedback. Now what we see is this audio spectrum but if you want to see the actual wave of the sound we can connect the mass instead of audio spectrum to the resample and I bring back the translate of the geometry In the camera here, you can zoom in or zoom back. So I keep it on 7. And now I change the resolution of my render to 1280, 1280. Now we can use each one of these channels for visualization. Now after the feedback loop, I bring a lookup. I add a ramp and I connect the ramp to the second input of lookup. What I want to do here is that I want to create colors so here when we change the white part of the ramp the white part of our visual get the color you can add more points inside the ramp so I add a bit of yellow and green Now I increase the opacity of the level in feedback loop. And I change the input. So if we change the number of points in our line, we see that we get different effects.
appear in the uniform scale of the sphere. If we increase the number, you see we get these colorful circles that are moving with music. But I will keep the number of points on 250 for now. And I don't want to use the phone and light, so I delete them. Here I want to try something else. I bring a line from material and I connect this new material to my geometry. I play around a bit with the parameters of the line material. Thank you. 